Welcome back. On this channel, I don't very often talk sports. I do occasionally because some of them I'm interested in. But uh, this week, I thought I'd talk about the West Virginia. Anybody that anybody that listens to this program regularly knows that I'm a West Virginia football fan, football and basketball fan, and you know I care about West Virginia. So uh, it's obvious that I'd talk about them in a little bit. So I wouldn't be surprised to to hear that on here. Do any of you have the same problem I have? <laughs> From time to time, I, I tell you what, ever since this transfer portal started, I really have a hard time knowing what kind of team West Virginia is going to have. I've been a West Virginia fan since probably about 1970, maybe 72, right in there. And I probably listened to them a little bit even before that, but I really became a fan probably about 70, and I've always kind of known where they was going to have a good team or a bad team based on who came back from the previous year. And with this travel, uh, with the transfer portal, I don't have a darn clue anymore. I don't know where this team's going to be good. I don't know where this team's going to be bad. You know, it depends on who left the team in the transfer portal. It depends on who came there. Uh, it depends on uh, just how good they are when they came there, how quick they'll mature, how quick they'll uh, fit into the system. There's just so many things that, that uh, affect whether a team's good or bad. Always before in the past, you knew what your team had done. You knew if they'd gone to a bowl game. So uh, you knew where they was good. You knew how many players are going to graduate and, and uh, how many players are going to be taken by the NFL. And how many uh, players remained. And you knew where they were good players and where they had a season or two left. And you knew exactly where you stood coming in the next season. You knew whether you had a potential to have a really good team, maybe a great team, or just average or maybe mediocre. And it was always easy to tell. I didn't struggle about it. I had no trouble telling whether they were going to have a good team or not. I had no difficulties. I mean, I pretty well knew going into season, providing, you know, the normal stuff, nobody was hurt uh, during the course of the season. I mean, you knew what kind of quarterback you had, and you just pretty well knew where you were going to be in the coming year. You knew where you had a good chance to have a great season or, or it was going to be a long year for you, and you knew. And I don't know anymore. I just don't know. And, I mean, this was – this was inevitable. It was bound to happen to do this with coaches jumping and going from uh, team to team. Eventually, you had to kind of level the playing field and allow the players to do things such as that as well. And you knew it was going to happen at some point. I mean, I've known this for years that eventually you'd get to this point where players would be able to jump like coaches did. We're, we're there now with this transfer portal. You're in a uh, world of college football anymore that I really struggle to understand how good they're going to be. I mean, this Saturday, you got West Virginia playing uh, Penn State Nittany Lions at home. The uh, They haven't met. <laughs> West Virginia hasn't played Penn State in years and years. I don't know how it's going to be. I mean, right now I've seen that uh, Penn State's up about eight points. They're supposed to be about eight-point favorites in this game, and I don't know what West Virginia has. I don't know what Coach Neil Brown's got on his field. Uh, I don't know the players he's got. I mean, honestly, I, I do not know. I mean, I know some of the players that remain, but the ones that left and the ones that, that came, you just don't know anymore. And I really struggle to know what kind of team they're going to have. And it's, it's frustrating to me a little bit. Well, we'll know this Saturday when West Virginia and Penn State square off in uh, Mountaineer Field, and I'm looking forward to this game. And uh, it's it's hard to believe we're about back there again, but uh, it don't it don't these 90 degree temperatures and almost 100. It doesn't feel much like football weather here back in uh, in this part where I live. And uh, I hope it's a little cooler this week because there, that would be devastating on both these teams if it's hot like this come Saturday. But anyway, uh, we'll find out what we got this week. We'll find out what we got coming in this season. But uh, it's uh, it's just a little hard for us. And just Okay, I admit it, I'm old. It's hard for an old Mountaineer fan to really know what he's got with his transfer portal, and I'm still getting used to it. 
maybe I never will. I might not have enough years left. But uh, anyway, we'll see what we got this Saturday. Hey, thanks for stopping in. Catch you again soon. Bye.